YouTube about bleaching your roots and using coconut oil to like prevent damage. So as my hair is constantly damaged and I'm always looking for some way to make it nicer and softer because obviously I do have to bleach it to within an inch of its life to get it to go this pink. So one of the drawbacks of that is obviously extremely damaged hair. So what happened was I was looking through my YouTube feed and this video came up of a girl that I subscribed to who bleached her hair and then all her hair started snapping off. And this was like the day before I was due to be doing my roots myself. So I was like, oh, panic. Because, I mean, I've never seriously lost any hair doing this. There's one time I had a little bald patch here, but honestly, you couldn't tell. It's in an old video from about three years ago when I dyed my hair purple and I did, I had a bald patch here, but I just kept filling it in with like purple eyeshadow there. I just kept putting purple eyeshadow on the bald spot and you really, because I've got so much hair, you really couldn't tell. So I kind of got away with that. That's like the worst thing I've ever done to my hair, kind of. I'm pretty lucky and it's pretty strong, but still just watching that freaked me right out. So, I saw a couple of other videos of people bleaching their roots using coconut oil um, to prevent damage. And when I first heard about it, I thought, that can't work. You can't put coconut oil on your hair, then put bleach on. That won't work. But, it did. It did work. So, I filmed me doing my roots with coconut oil. So, yeah, here it is. Take a look. Okay, so here I am before. Um, I know I'm looking radiant. I've got no makeup on at all. And I've got a lot of coconut oil on my hair, so it looks like I haven't washed it in ages. And look at the roots. They're disgraceful. I haven't been out without a hat on in ages. Having to go somewhere public without a hat on is the motivation for this. So, I've always got coconut oil in. I use it for loads of stuff. So, you're just gonna need Coconut oil, 100% pure coconut oil, this is the one I've got. It's not very expensive, I use it for loads of things, loads of stuff. So, when I saw this video of bleach your hair with coconut oil, I was like, yay! I'm in, I'm, I'm up for that. So, last night before I went to bed, I washed my hair and doused it in coconut oil. So, coconut oil, as you can see, comes in solid form. In order to put it on your hair, you're going to need to melt it. Um, in the videos I've watched, people have used their microwave to melt it. Do that if you want. Um, I don't use a microwave. So. so what I did to melt it was I put some in a jar and then I put the jar in a bowl of boiling hot water and it just melted. There we go. No radiation needed sorted. So you've got it like that, that consistency. Right. This stuff's gonna go all over and it's not like friendly on your clothes. So I'm wearing like an old t-shirt to do this. You don't wanna be wearing your besties because they're gonna get wrecked. So there, I've just poured a little bit on my hand and I'm just gonna put it on my roots there. So like I say, you put this on and then you bleach on top of it, believe it or not. And I thought, no, it's gonna like totally stop the bleach from like doing its job, but these videos that I've seen of people doing this, that didn't happen. It like, it did its job as bleach and their hair was really soft and manageable at the same time. So oh, I just, wow. just, because there's such a lot of roots and just making sure I've covered everything. So right, so my hair's all coconut oiled up, great. Okay, disclaimer time. When it comes to bleach and bleaching your hair and all the rest of it, I am not a hairdresser. I have no hair qualifications whatsoever. I have knacked my hair as many times as I have made it gorgeous. So it, I'm not here to tell you how to bleach your hair. What I would suggest you do is get the bleach that you are comfortable with and follow the instructions on the packet. I really don't want to get into that territory of telling people how to bleach their hair and then they do something wrong and it falls out and I get the blame. So I'm telling you now, this is what I'm using. I advise you to use what you want to use and to follow the instructions by the leather. Okay, so I'm using cream peroxide. Obviously I do this all the time so I just buy a big one, it's cheaper. So cream peroxide, 9% 30 volt. Oh. And I'm using blue powder bleach, which I also buy in bulk because it's cheaper. Yep, so that's what I'm using. You mix them together in the ratio that it says on the packet and you end up 
with your bleach and this and just thinking the last who does my hair is probably freaking out about now because I do have a friend of mine who's a qualified hairdresser and she does come and do my roots for me. That's worked out well. Yeah, the poor girl who does my hair. I hope she doesn't see this video. Um, she won't be happy. <laughs> my hair is sectioned off in a very professional manner. So I've sectioned um, it off into four, kind of. I've got my gloves on, put your gloves on. If you don't put your gloves on. You'll have horrible, dry, nasty hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna start from the back to the front, and you've seen me do this before on old videos. and it's pretty much all a gingery blondy colour now. The light's not very good, it doesn't look as light in the camera as it is in real life. Um, so that'll do me because I'm putting quite a dark colour on. I'm putting, putting that colour on, which I've mixed. I'll show you it in a minute after I've rinsed. So yeah, this has been on 30 minutes and it's like a blondy gingery colour all over. So I'm going to rinse it out. I shall see you soon. Okay. That's what it looks like. The light's really bad. It looks nothing like it does in the mirror in the okay, camera. So now I just need to put my colour on. Okay, so the dye that I'm using. I'm using directions and I have mixed two colours. I've mixed a whole pot of flamingo pink with a quarter of a pot of poppy red, which looks like that. So it should be a really bright pink with a hint of red. Eyes on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this for like quite a while. I'll probably potter about like this and have some tea, and I'll wash it off later. I'll leave it for at least an hour, and it's like I say, it's a really nice conditioning treatment for your hair as well. And then I shall see you when I've rinsed it, and it looks all pretty. And so this is the result. This is like the next day after I did my roots. My hair felt. Just a lot softer and more manageable than it usually does because normally when you've bleached it it's just like having a stack of hair on your head and there's really not a lot you can do with it um, you just got to condition it and condition it and condition it um, so what I did was when I rinsed out the bleach then I shampooed it then as you saw I put my colour on which is like a conditioner anyway and when I rinsed that off my hair was just nice and manageable it still felt soft Usually it just feels so straw-like that I'm like terrified to touch it. So I've got to say, um, I haven't brushed my hair in a while because I find that very damaging as well. So what I just tend to do is run my fingers through it when it's wet and just save the brushing. 
Um, and also, I don't straighten, I rarely straighten my hair anymore. I used to straighten it. I might straighten it because I'd be interested to see how long it is. But um, anyway, yeah, this is the result. There's my roots done, nice and pink. My hair did not fall out. And yeah, I think it worked. It worked quite well. I would recommend it. It definitely did reduce the damage somewhat and make my hair feel nicer. So, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Mwah! I love you all. Bye!